morning everyone and thank you for being here and listening to me uh, i am very grateful to uh, vice chancellor university of indonesia and the chair uh, green matter ranking for allowing me uh, to present on the institute is leading its mission of rural uplift sustainable development social impact in the rural area of pakistan uh, my name is dr yasir riyaz and i am assistant professor at nawal institute Initially, uh, Namal Institute was established as a technical training college, but a modest start from a technical training college uh, comes out to be one of the biggest cause in the country. Um, uh, the Namal Institute was later affiliated with Bradford University, uh, to where it started bachelors of uh, computer sciences and bachelors in uh, electrical engineering. In 2019, uh, Namal Institute has received its own degree awarding status from uh, through an act in. Uh, that has been passed in the assembly of punjab uh, namal institute is one of the youngest educational institutions in pakistan uh, and it constitutes a one thousand acres of land where it is covered with uh, hills and crags on one side and uh, a lake and a normal dam uh, built in 1913 on the other side it is a not for profit university established uh, by the uh, prime minister of uh, pakistan mr imran khan in his own um, village uh, in its own uh, city miawali uh, miawali district in the province of punjab namal institute has six prime values around which it is working the first is uh, merit uh, integrity uh, tolerance uh, excellence commitment and social responsibility and we are inculcating all these six values in our students and to the community around us Uh, the vision or mission of the Namal Institute is to become a center of excellence for the rural uplift and development through educating bright youth who have Namal values and will contribute to organizations and community. The important part is the community, and uh, we strive for finding innovative solutions to rural challenges uh, by and through our trained academics. So uh, this is the basic. mission of uh, the namal institute the, the uh, it is it is it is one uh, it is I, i think it is the only university that has such uh, a mission in uh, within pakistan uh, for rural uplift um, one of the important and prime prime the uh, cause through which namal institute is taking this initiative is the free education it is providing free education to 500 plus students that are enrolled here and 97% are on financial aid uh, on either on merit based or either on need based scholarships and the students uh, in hail from uh, all of pakistan from almost 70 plus districts uh, the free education not does not only matter it is also providing a quality education so it is balanced the quantity and quality both are uh, balanced at namal institute we have around 49 full time faculty members um out of the 36 or phd faculty members and they are all qualified from around the world from uk canada america europe japan china malaysia and pakistan uh, we have uh, maintained a very modest ratio of teacher to student ratio that is one ratio 10 uh, which is not even observed in the uh, top ranked universities in pakistan we are offering four uh, undergraduate programs the first is the bs in electrical engineering bs in computer sciences bachelor's in business administration and bs in mathematics now uh, as far as students diversity is concerned we have a 30% of our students are females and we provide free hostel facility for girls to encourage them uh, to get educated and uh, to uh, uh, take admission in the naval institute and get free education and students are from our 70 plus districts around from around the pakistan we also provide free shuttle service to and from uh, the nearby areas around the institute so to uh, impact the uh, rural uplift and to uh, to work for the rural development uh, namal institute has established two uh, research center the first is the nisar aziz agri uh, tech center uh, that is uh, working uh, for, uh, on different projects related to the agriculture and whose main aim is uh, to train the youth and the farmers and to make them learn low cost modern farming techniques and to solve their problems uh, to increase the agricultural yield the second center is the normal artificial intelligence and uh, big data center that main focus is to solve the problem using artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence uh, rural and agricultural informatics lab has developed uh, an app special 
specialized for the farmers that can use it for diagnosis of diseases in their animals like buffalo, cattle, goat, sheep. So uh, you know, it does not only tell them uh, the disease, but it also suggests them or uh, advise them uh, the treatment of the disease. So the second uh, mission is uh, the sustainable development. Uh, sustainable development starts from uh, one's own self. So uh, keeping sustainable development in mind, we have established a very green campus with mountains on one side and uh, lakes on the other side. Uh, this uh, on the left side is our current campus, on the right side is the planned campus. We are uh, in the growth stage and still uh, we, are, uh, uh, we are increasing in number of students and staff in buildings so in construction uh, so let's please uh, have a look at uh, the campus i have a video for you uh, let's have a look how it's coming up Thank you for watching uh, the video. I think uh, you. The sustainable development starts from one's own, as I have uh, said uh, in the previous slide. Uh, so, to keep this in mind, we have reconstructed these two new blocks the minimal academic block one and the silver phase residency using environment friendly material. For example, we have used uh, sun dried mud blocks, we have uh, used LED lights, and we are we are preparing to install the uh, solar panels uh, at the rooftop. The base is installed and uh, in short and future, the whole building will be on the uh, solar, light, uh, solar energy. Now we have also, we are also applied for the LEEDS component certification and it is under in process, it is in process and uh, the buildings are fully ventilated, open to natural light and full of greenery. Further, Namal is planning to develop a center of environment in Indus Valley civilization and this center's main purpose will be uh, to, uh, to solve the environment related challenges and to work for the uh, environment sustainability in uh, Numal Institute has also included different courses in its uh, curriculum for the civic engagement and social impact, renewable energy sources, artificial intelligence for sustainable development for its students to uh, get educated and how they can uh, impact the society so, sustainable development means. Uh, Numal Institute also had had uh, different tree plantation um, schemes. For example, uh, they had planted 1,000 olive trees and developed an olive garden on an area of four acres uh, in collaboration with the Barani Agriculture Research Institute, Chakbal. And on very recently, on August 14, 2020, Namal Institute has also planted 2,000 different types of trees to take part in the Prime Minister's campaign for uh, planting 3.5 million uh, trees. Um, the third most important aspect that Naval Institute is working is the social impact. Uh, it is importing or making the social impact through its societies and clubs. Three societies are prominent in this role. The first is the Naval Society for Social Impact, the second is Naval Environmental Society, and the third is Center for Excellence and Skills. A normal society for a social impact provides free tuition to 200 plus underprivileged students from 1st and 12th grade. These are our students that are providing free education to these uh, underprivileged students from school, different schools and colleges, mostly from public sector, uh, where education is not of much quality and they uh, they take um, tuition from our students. Uh, normal society for social impact also organizes different blood donation drives for the needy and it also managed to uh, to deliver hygiene kits and ration packages to the 
60 deserving low income families of the rural area surrounding Namal. Uh, on the other hand, Namal Environmental Society is arranging different campaigns, tree planting campaigns, organic gardening seminars, etc., for, uh, for the development of students and for the environmental sustainability. <coughs> Uh, it has also established a postal museum to educate students about through Center for Excellence and uh, Skills Development, Normal Institute is uh, providing technical education to the uh, rural youth and providing and importing uh, the uh, skills like graphic designing, fine arts, PCB designing, communication skills workshop and in future it is planning uh, carpentry uh, to offer carpentry courses, plumbing courses, electrician, AC technician type courses to the uh, rural youth around Namal uh, and uh, uh, the one of the best initiative that Namal has is a time bank in, in this initiative students or uh, students have to work for contribute 20 hours of community service every year and there is a separate office to support office that keeps record of this uh, another initiative is the Namal school uh, which is providing quality education in the area to the 250 students at quite subsidized rates to the faculty staff and even to the people uh, from Namal Institute. Uh, to conclude my presentation, Namal Institute is envisioned to become a high quality education facility but keeping uh, in mind our own mission, the rural uplift, sustainability and social impact and uh, the Namal Institute is envisioned to become one of the leading knowledge city in, uh, in the country. Um, as similar to that of the University of Oxford in UK. Uh, in, the, uh, in the words of the founder, Mr. Imran Khan, the establishment of Namal City brings the vision of a sustainable Pakistan one step closer. And under the multidisciplinary Namal Knowledge City, students will become tomorrow's leaders, inshallah. Uh, thank you uh, if uh, you have any questions.